in Jesus name for Heavenly Father we give you praise we thank you for this thoughts so about to read concerning the first teachings of Jehovah Witness I ask may this O Lord open the eyes of the world and turn those who have been enclaved by the false doctrine to be delivered in Jesus name amen the first teachings of Jehovah's Witness the watchtower for I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book if any man shall add unto these things God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book and if any man shall take away from the words of the book words of the book of this prophecy God shall take away his parts out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book Revelation chapter 22 18 to 19 this set called the watchtower popularly known as Jehovah's Witnesses are one of the Antichrist religion Satan brought into the world through the leader Charles Taze Rushen a man believed to be a member of Freemastry or Cortis even the name watchtower look like that illuminati tower that has one eye on it another major reason jehovah's witnesses can be called an antichrist organization is because they deny the lordship of jesus christ saying that jesus was created by god as the angels they deny the trinity and the existence of the holy spirit as the third person in the godhead and the Bible said in 1 John chapter 2, verse 22 to 23, Who is a liar, but he that denied that Jesus Christ is the Antichrist, and Jesus is Christ, is the Antichrist, that denied the Father and the Son. Whosoever denied the Son, the same had not the Father. He that acknowledged the Son had the Father also. The Bible said also in 2 John chapter 10, verse 11, If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine receive him not into your house neither bid him godspeed for he that bideth him godspeed is partaker of his evil deed so anytime they come to your house which is the Dover witness with their false doctrine do not welcome them into your house except you want to preach the truth to them let's see some of the false doctrines and what the bible say on each of them number one jehovah's witness teaches that there is no hellfire and where the bible says something about hellfire they turn it into grave in their bible which is gehenna but god's word cannot be changed and his word say the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget god psalm 9 verse 17 in these verses of the scriptures God warn us about eternal torment of hellfire and the lake of fire. In Mark chapter 9, 43 to 48, Isaiah chapter 66, verse 24, Revelation chapter 20, verse 10 to 15, Revelation chapter 19, verse 20, and also Revelation chapter 14, verse 11, Matthew chapter 13, verse 49 to 50, and also chapter 18, verse 8. Even Charles T. Rochelle has been seen in hell, fire passing through excruciating pains there. See it toward the end of this threat. Number two, the teaches that Jesus was a created being like the angels in the heaven, while the Bible confirmed that Jesus is God and He is the Almighty. See it in 1 John chapter 2, verse 22, Revelation chapter 1, verse 8. And Revelation chapter 17, verse 18, John chapter 1, 1 to 3, and Luke chapter 2, verse 11. For God to command the angels of God to worship Jesus, show that he is God. Number three, the teaches that heaven is only limited to 1,444 cents. That is, that it is only 1,444 people that will enter heaven. But according to the Bible, that's 1,444,000 are the 12,000 that God planned to save from each tribe of the children of Israel 
after the rapture according to roman chapter 11 1 to 26 again jesus said in john chapter 14 1 to 3 that he will go to heaven and prepare a place for all saints and luke chapter 6 22 to 23 confirm it that our reward are in heaven number four jehovah's witness forbids to listen to christian song instead they enjoy watching worldly music they are also forbidden to enter any church building or read christian literatures which show that they cannot be called christians number five they are forbidden to donate or receive blood even when they are in need of it in the hospitals some of their women usually die when giving birth for lack of blood number six watchtower teaches that speaking in tongues has gone away with the apostle of christ but today many christians are speaking in tongues number seven they were forbidden to celebrate christmas and easter the birth and the death of our lord jesus christ number eight let's see the torture of charles t Rochelle in hellfire as seen by rodolfo whom jesus took to hellfire we continue walking and the lord showed me a man whose hands were stretched out and the surprising thing about this man was that he had a fine very fine sword inside his tongue and he, this sword crossed through his head and was coming out of his body. His feet were grabbed by chains and his back was full of blood, set in different positions in a way that no matter how he moved, he would be caught. When I saw this man in this condition, I told Jesus, Lord, please help him. Do something. Lord Jesus, look at the terrible pain this man is going through. The Lord asked me, you don't know who this man is no lord i say i saw how the knife got through his skin and even through the bones and how they come out of his body the man only screamed in agony the lord told me judgment against this man has been established now i'm going to tell you the identity of this man because of that revelation the lord say you will have to run from city to city because this will cause you great persecution but i will be with you he went on to say rodolfo this man is charles t Rochelle. i said lord who is he the lord say that this man was the founder of the jehovah's witnesses i pleaded lord please help me and the lord said no rodolfo and as the lord moved his hand immediately I saw that many souls were falling into hellfire in every possible means. They were falling head first, feet first, stomach first, etc. Rodolfo, for that cost man, all these souls are entering into hell. This man thought that God was only a God of love. The Bible said that God is a consuming fire. But this man, Charles took this word hell from the Bible and he took out of the world Shuel and Ab Abaddon. Also, he denied the deity of Jesus Christ and also denied the deity of the Holy Spirit. And he put only the deity of jesus christ and also denied the deity of the holy spirit and he put only the word jehovah in the bible he took out jesus and the holy spirit for this cause man all these souls are falling into hell revelation chapter 22 18 to 19 then jesus say i cause that man all you members of jehovah witness this is a warning to you to escape for your soul and all you that are serving Satan in one way or the other, either in witchcraft or wizard, know it today that Satan will use you for his evil plan on earth, promising you great reward. But when you die, he will punish you severely in hellfire because he is the arch enemy of your soul. Run for your dear precious soul. Heavenly Father, we say thank you. May this word bear fruits and cause many to turn to righteousness in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.